Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about wall boosting. What is it? It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. We'll be charging a boost and then releasing it after hitting a wall, and that'll get us some vertical height, allowing us to skip some bomb requirements in morph tunnels as well as do some speed strats later on. Uh, on your left you'll see some helpful tips. First one up is that boost fully charges in two seconds. Uh, we'll want a full charge so we can get the max speed out of the wall boost and thus the max uh, vertical uh, velocity we can get. Uh, thing to think about is that we're boosting out of the collision. We're not boosting into the wall. So we want to boost about seven frames after colliding. Uh, so it can be a little later than what people think. Uh, another helpful hint is if you, we release the stick as we boost, it can help avoid friction of rubbing up against the wall when we get the wall boost. Uh, this can be helpful in a few scenarios when we need that extra height, but largely uh, I don't find it matters as much, but it can be a useful thing to think about. Uh, but the most important thing is going to be your boost timing and the collision with uh, uh, the wall and the angles of the wall because every spot is going to have different collisions so you're going to have to be kind of familiar with uh, when and where you've got to hit. Uh, and one last thing is that people think that there's like a huge run up needed uh, for wall boosts and that's just not the case. Uh, you can do wall boosts pretty close and that can help manipulate the camera sometimes so you don't have to get a full morph ball rolling speed before attempting wall boosts. Uh, so we're here in Frozen Pike. Uh, this is the easiest spot to show off wall boosts. Uh, so right now, uh, this is the second uh, of the walls in this tunnel. And you can see when we roll into this how much vertical uh, velocity we get. You can see in the top right, I've got the uh, velocity. Uh, the Z is the one we're concerned with. And so if we just charge a boost, you go into the wall, release after you start going up. This is the most obvious wall boost there is just because of how much of the vertical component you get automatically. If you head down a little bit, this wall is a little bit more tricky, but you can still see when you collide with the wall, you go up. see we're almost getting it there there we go and right into this one again there's some prime examples there if we head down to frost cave access here's an example of where sure you can bomb jump this but if you're trying to go fast you can just use a wall boost save you some time this can be done the exact same on the other side In we go. Uh, we'll take another look at... Uh, where are we here? At Warrior Shrine. Not Warrior Shrine, but Upper Fiery Shores is another good wall boost to learn. Another example of you don't have to go nearly as far, uh, as far away from the wall as people might think. So a lot of people might do a huge run up here, but you really don't need one. You can see just like with a little bit. A little bit of run up. We can get in there. And that is wall boosting.